Hello and welcome to Boats and Engines. I have just purchased from Jersey, so I've just imported this, a Sunseeker XBS 21. I think it's a 1989 boat and it's powered by a 5.7 litre Yamaha V8 that's based on a small block Chevy. Single prop without drive. You can see the outdrive's missing, that's actually inside the boat. Quite a cool thing, designed by Don Shedd, who was a fairly famous boat designer and powerboat racer. Did lots of cool class one powerboats. It's got a few issues, as, as everything I buy does. Um, obviously the outdrive needs putting back on. It has had new bellows. Its biggest problem is the trim pump has died. And uh, if you know anything about the Yamaha engine, some of the parts are hard to get. And the trim pump is one of them. Don't know quite what I'm gonna do about it. I might have a go at converting it to a Mercruiser trim pump because they're cheaper than even a set of brushes. And uh, the trim pumps, nearly as much as what I paid for the whole boat and trailer. Trailer's rough. Certainly needs new wheels, the brakes have been disconnected. Um, so I think plan of action, what we'll do is I'll open it up and show you inside. And uh, then we'll start cleaning it out, see what we've got and what we haven't got. Um, maybe stick some batteries in it and see what comes alive. So here we got the interior of the boat. Triple doors down into a little cabin dashboard, nice vinyl seats, all the vinyl looks really good, it's dirty but it's not ripped and I think it's all original for, so for 30 year old vinyl it's very good, I guess it's been covered most of its life, just needs a really good clean up, got the outdrive there, we'll lift that out in a sec, I think what we'll do is I'll take everything out of the boat and go through what we've got and what we haven't got and some batteries have just turned up so it did come with the battery in it but um, it was absolutely dead so I'll get those cabin doors open and show you inside so let's go inside maybe a little bit dark till the camera adjusts so you've got a um, nice little area, a little V-bath, so this converts to a bed. There's a table there which could, should sit up on a post. You can see a lot of the interiors come out. I think that's because this hatch, all covered in frost, has probably been leaking. Um, the interior in here is the last thing I'll do. Uh, I just want to get it working first of all um, but I think what I'll do is make a panel to go over this I don't know if it was upholstered directly I'm not sure um, but that hatch needs to come off and be sealed all around the edge and then this raw edge I'll probably just flow coat over it but um, I'll clean all of this stuff out I know lurking under there there's a big mouldy patch which makes me think the um, hatch has been leaking. Down in there, there should be a little kitchenette. You can see the output for the sink. That's behind the dash. It's the trim pump not wired up. Not trim pump, trim gauge. Um, also, I noticed it's got the... That thing there is the fluxy gate part of the steering compass and it feels very rattly so I expect that's not working too. And next I think I'll show you the engine bay. So here's the big Yamaha V8. If you're in America you probably think that looks rough but in England, everything's salt water use, so 30 year old 
salt water petrol engine that's looking pretty good to me um, it's been sat for at least a year this boat so it could for all I know it could be seized so we're gonna get a socket on the crank pulley and see if it will turn over that's where the battery box lives that's the trim pump for the trim tabs it's got Bennett hydraulic trim tabs and the actual outdrive trim pump which is what we need should live there can't actually see it in the boat um, I'll message the guy I bought on off to see if he's actually got it because um, we might be able to rebuild it but having said that a Mercruiser pump is actually cheaper than rebuilding the original so for the sake of a couple of probably just pipe adapters to get them to fit might just fit a Mercruiser one to be honest little water tank there for the sink and there's a little shower on the back of a boat that I'll show you later there's the water pump and down there we have a fuel filter and water separator sorry about the plane I'll restart it all right I've got a bar on the crankshaft pulley and just tightening it I don't want to really force it because I don't know if it's got a harmonic balancer and what the issues are with them so I think what I'll do is I'll put the batteries in I won't start it but just see if the start it will crank it there is a slight danger in doing that because you might damage the flywheel and starter but I think that's the safest bet uh, it looks like it's had new plug wires and plugs. Uh, somebody knows more about these engines. It looks like it's got two oil filters. One there with Yamaha. And one there. I'll follow the lines and see where they go to. I wonder if one's for something else. I don't think you'd have two oil filters. Right, so first of all, I think we're clear the crap out of the boat and see what we've got and what we haven't got. Then we'll come back and have another go at this engine. So this is what I found. So there's a little table. It looks good. Little cubby holes in here. Nice glass work. The glass work on these old sun seekers is absolutely beautiful. Nice teak face ply. This side, just this bit here, obviously that's leaked into it and they've rebuilt this. Um, unfortunately, using MDF, which really isn't ideal, but it's not a horrendous job. So I think if I just flow coat over it, it'll probably be just fine. And the stringers all look good, very solid. A uh, load of light fittings and stuff, that's a socket for the table. Um, forward here. A bit of window maybe. And a load of screws and stuff for the interior panels. So yeah. Good. I think that's the pole for the table. Um, a load of mouldy stainless steel screws. And there's some um, white vinyl, which is good because that's quite expensive. It looks like it's good stuff. So you have a state of the cushions. They do all unzip, so I'll put them straight in the wash. Um, it looked like there's some. Um, probably can't see it on camera some little rips on that uh, hopefully it will wash okay though so we get all that out and into the wash then we'll come back put a pair of batteries in and see if we can bump it over and if it doesn't I guess we'll be soaking the cylinders with Marvel mystery oil which I hope I don't have to do 
Unfortunately, as I've been taking these covers off, they've just been like falling apart. Yeah, you can see the state of them. So I think they're beyond saving. Um, if I wash them, they're just gonna be in tatters. These are the worst ones. Um, I haven't brought over the other good ones, but they're gonna need recovering anyway. That's a really expensive job to have done. So eventually I might be learning how to use a sewing machine, but this doesn't need doing yet. So I'm just gonna take all the cushions out, um, store them in my carport where it's nice and dry and at least they can dry out then. This foam will be nice. Should have just left them on, but stop while you're uh, ahead. I think that's the expression or know when to stop. So I'm stopping. Right, we've uh, had some batteries delivered. Stick them in and uh, see if our engine seized. A pair of brand new Big Leisure batteries. We'll get them in and see what happens. Both batteries are in. And can you see that over there? So it's got a battery switch to isolate and bridge them. So I've got it bridged onto both. Auto fire extinguisher says it's okay. That's hidden up under there. Um, right. Oh, low on fuel. Compass has come alive. Battery good. Should give it a little bump and see what happens. Oh yeah. good news starter doesn't sound great but turned over and compression sounded even so very happy with that I uh, I was really worried it's gonna be a stuck engine loads of weird spiders in here see if this rain marine will switch on I'll be getting rid of this anyway and put a tablet in its place old school so that's an auto helm steering compass, I think. So you like lock, lock onto your current heading and then tells you which way to steer the course, which is quite useful. I suspect it's broken. Um, the rain marine will going. I don't know if you know, but I work for a company that makes marine electronics and we do uh, Android and iPhone and PC based sonar systems, which also have plotting way better than anything this will have so I will just sell that to be honest uh, low rants high definition <laughs> back into the 90s sonar uh, again I know the transducers fallen off so be getting rid of that as well before touch screen uh, Jersey We're not in Jersey. Oh look, he's got all his old tracks where, uh, see where the boat's been. So yeah, it's been all over the place. Pretty cool. Can we get engine hours up? That mode. No, I've got no idea. Speed. Current trip, current time, I guess is what that means. Zero fuel. 
Cool. Um, I don't want to try and fire it up because obviously there's no outdrive on it, so I haven't got water going to it. But oh, that sounded like it was going to fire. Then I'm not going to not going to touch it. Oh, should we fire it up just for a second? No, water pump. Um, this is the trim tabs. Oh. Sound like they're working. I'll have to get somebody on the outside to see. Well, that is good news. It's a bit of a risk buying this. It could have been a disaster. Um, the guy I bought it off was a really nice guy. Um, but it had been sat for a year and you don't know what happens to a marine engine in a year. It's not good. They need to be used really regularly. So dead happy about that awesome um, so I have a little look into what's needed with a trim pump and uh, I've got a gasket on order to put that bad boy back on a load of oil to service it he has just changed the bellows already I've just found a receipt for it all uh, spark plugs I've got another set I've got um, I've got a Chevy oil filter but I'm just going to read off what's on those other filters and have a little explore to see what's actually in them. So yeah, I've got the gasket to fit this and we'll obviously do a full oil service. Uh, it's really interesting outdrive actually. It's got a wet clutch up in here somewhere like you'd like a load of clutch packs like on a super bike. Well, I guess because it's Yamaha it would. It's supposed to be a really good outdrive. So normally... Like an Alpha 1 Merc has a dog clutch, which is a bit nasty. Um, but then they're cheap parts and otherwise very good. Bravos and the Volvo Pentas both use, I think, a rubber cone clutch, which gives you a smooth engagement. But I'm much rather the idea of a proper bike style wet clutch. But it has got a little filter up in there, which needs to be cleaned out regularly, which uh, I will do. Very coarse prop on it. Don't know how fast this boat will be, but I'm guessing 35 or 40 knots. Certainly as fast as I want to go. Yeah, so let's put that back to bed and we will start cleaning up this interior a bit. I think that'll be fun. See how it comes up. Here we are after about an hour of cleaning. It's come up really nice. That's looking good. There's a few gel repairs to do on the dashboard. That's okay, we can do that. Seats came up looking good. Um, I think they probably look better on camera than they do in real life. There are some stains. I think I need to get one of those little magic eraser sponges. They come up looking good. Again, a couple of little stains in the rear seat, in the passenger seat. But yeah, looks nice. The floor needs pressure washing. I don't want to do that now because we're sloping downhill the wrong way. Also, this centre plywood panel is completely solid, but I want to take it out and either epoxy coat it or flow coat it and uh, put some non-slip on on the top of it and I think that's where one of the table hole things goes so you can put the table here and D seats twizzle round so you can have a nice little luncheon area I'll show you I don't know if I showed you inside these Nice big storage area, really nice glass work, solid stringers, they did a really good job flow coating everything so nothing rots out. So yeah, it needs a bit more cleaning but that will do for now. In the next episode, hopefully I will be fitting the outdrive. Why is it not focusing? Focus! 
fitting the out drive and getting it running and maybe the trim pump as well but i've got to have a bit of a think about that first also the trailer needs a fair bit of work but uh i probably won't bother filming that so yeah please subscribe to the channel thanks very much for watching and see you later bye bye